the Myanmar crisis is now in its seventh week. As the protests spread, so did the fake news smearing China. Rumors of Chinese interference in the Myanmar crisis spread through both mainstream and social media platforms in Western countries. The rumors are incited by some West-backed NGOs and their followers. On March 14, some Chinese invested factories were burned in the Halang Thiryar industrial zone. Kaya Win, founder of the London-based Burma Human Rights Network, tweeted to burn Chinese factories to ashes in a tweet just two days before the incident. Win's tweet was retweeted by the account of the Melty Alliance. The logic behind the sensational threat is that they want people to believe that the latest Myanmar political reshuffle was supported by China. The Melty Alliance, a radical online group, appeared during the turmoil in Thailand and has again played an important role in stirring things up and throwing dirt at China. The Global Times learned that since the political change in Myanmar started, Many accounts from Hong Kong and Taiwan have started hashtags like Milk Tea Alliance and Myanmar on social media like Twitter. Under the trend of labeling, a large number of China-related rumors have been released, ranging from conspiracy theories to sloganeering defamation, as well as anti-China cartoons, posters and videos. What they have in common is not providing any evidence. Kaya Win has been a stubborn supporter and spreader of some widely circulated rumors. In a recent tweet, he indicated that Chinese aircraft transported technicians to Myanmar. Chen Hai, Chinese ambassador to Myanmar, clearly clarified the misinformation in mid-February. The online rumors first falsely claimed that the plane was carrying technicians, with the words cargo flight deliberately omitted from the picture and later speculated that the plane was carrying so-called weapons. The Burma Human Rights Network was registered in 2015. The group claims it has been advocating for international attention to human rights in Myanmar since 2012. Evidence shows that Burma Human Rights Network is actually supported by Western think tanks and NGO, one Yangon-based academic who asked not to be named, suggested that Western organizations such as the National Endowment for Democracy might be the black hand behind the scenes. National Endowment for Democracy is notorious for spreading anti-China propaganda and meddling in other countries' internal affairs. Funding for this self-proclaimed private, non-profit organization, which largely comes from the U.S. Congress, has long been funneled to secessionists in China's Hong Kong, Xinjiang, Tibet, and Taiwan regions. One scholar said that these foundations often fund NGOs or think tanks in Myanmar, about $100,000 to $200,000 at a time, and these organizations do political propaganda for their donors. Another organization that has stirred sentiments against China during Myanmar's political upheaval, is Justice for Myanmar. In a recent feature article, Justice for Myanmar listed a few Chinese with locations in the Golden City, Yangon, a land reportedly controlled by the Myanmar army, in a bid to imply deeper business ties between those Chinese companies and the Myanmar military, despite not providing any specific or clear evidence for the relationship. One of the channels for spreading its accusation is Radio Free Asia, a US-funded news agency created by the CIA during the Cold War to spew propaganda. According to observers, this disinformation campaign is not necessarily from inside Myanmar, but more like a familiar propaganda trick used by the West to smear China, which aims to deliberately frame China as the cause of the political event in Myanmar.